back to Storybook Crochet. Um, with Easter right around the corner, I wanted to make up a little bunny outfit for babies. So this um, video will be in newborn size, but it can easily be adjusted to bigger sizes. And I do have some videos on some of these bigger sizes for you. So you can check those out on my channel. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon as well, and you'll get notified when new sizes of those of the hat, the diaper cover, and the shoes are available. So you can also make this in any colors you want. Um, if you want it for a girl, you can add the bow. If you don't, if you want it for a boy, you can leave that off. It's very adjustable to make it your own. So the materials you're going to need today are going to be two colors of worsted yarn. Okay, this is a medium size four yarn. I used a dark blue. And for the bow, I went ahead and used a light blue so that you can see it well in the video. Okay, you're also going to need a, ni a nine or a five, um, 0.55 millimeter eye hook. You're going to need some scissors and you're going to need a yarn needle and that will be all the materials you need to make the hat. So let's go ahead and grab our materials and we'll get started making this um, bunny hat. All right let's grab your hook and we'll get started. We are going to start off our hat by making a magic ring. Once we have the ring made, we are going to be putting eight half double crochet in the ring. All right, to end round one, you'll pull on that metal string and close your hole and slip stitch in that very first half double crochet you made and then chain one. All right, for round two, we are going to half double crochet increase in each stitch around. At the end of round two, you will have made 16 half double crochets. Okay, slip stitch and chain one to end round two. For round three, we are going to increase in the first stitch and then one half double crochet in the next and then you will repeat that pattern around. So increase and then one half double crochet in the next. All right, end round three with a slip stitch and a chain one. For round four, we will increase in the first stitch. And then we will put one half double crochet in the next two stitches. Repeat that around eight times.
okay and end off round four and round five will be our last increase round so we are going to start with an increase and then the next three stitches you will put one half double crochet and repeat that eight times around Okay, and to end round five, you should have 40 stitches. Now at this point, you can measure and your circumference should be at four inches across, and that will be for the newborn size. So to start round six, we are just going to put one half double crochet in each stitch around. Okay, and let's finish off round six. So you will repeat round six for seven more rounds. That'll give you a total of 13 completed rounds. I'm going to fast forward to the end of round 13 if you wanna pause here and then catch up with me then. All right, you should have 13 completed rounds now and you can measure at this point and your hat should be around five inches tall. For the round 14, we are going to be using a front and back post half double crochet. To do this, we will chain one, and then you're going to want to go behind that front post of that very first stitch, and then make your half double crochet. And the next one, you're going to go in front of that next post, 
So the post will be behind your hook and then pull your yarn through and half double crochet. So to repeat this, you're going to go behind that next stitch, pull your yarn through, half double crochet, and the next one you'll do the opposite and go in front of that post. Pull your yarn through and then half double crochet. And you'll want to repeat this process around. All right, and go ahead and slip stitch and cut your yarn and you have finished your hat and all you need to do now is weave in those ends and you have a newborn hat. We are now going to move on to making the ears. So I've already made one, so I'll show you how to make um, the first one and then you can go back and rewatch this part to make your second ear. All right, so grab your hook and your main color of yarn and the first thing we're going to do is chain 26. Alright, once you have your um, chain of 26, we're going to start in this second chain here. And the first um, set we're going to do is we're going to single crochet across the first five. So starting in that second chain, you'll make your single crochet. And then you'll do that four more times.
Okay, so the next set of stitches is going to be five half double crochets. So make your half double crochet in the first one and then across the next four. Okay, so now that we have our five half double crochet made, we are now going to double crochet across the next 14. Alright, once you have your 14, your ear should look like this so far, and you have one chain left. So in that last chain, we're going to put five double crochets all in that one chain. Okay, so now that you have your five double crochets made, your work will be turned basically upside down and we're gonna work in the bottom side of the chain that we just did. So it's just, we're working around the chain. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is another 14 double crochet along that bottom edge of your chain. Alright, after you've made your 14 double crochets along the bottom edge of the chain, we are now going to make another 5 half double crochets. Okay, there's our five half double crochets. And the last thing we're gonna do is make our five single crochets all the way to the end. Okay, 
okay once you make that last single crochet you're going to slip stitch to that first chain there all right so the ne next step we've got one more round to do I'm gonna go ahead and cut off this tail here so we've got one more round to go around to make to finish off our ear so go ahead and chain one and then we're basically just going to repeat that same thing so we're going to make five single crochets all right after that you're going to make five half double crochets And next you will make your 14 double crochets. Okay, so we've made um, the first set of stitches here. So in the five stitches that we made in the last uh, chain, the five double crochets that we made, we're going to increase in each one of those. So we'll put two double crochets in each of those five, making a total of 10 double crochets. Okay, so we've worked our way around to the other side of the ear. So we're just gonna continue that pattern. We're going to start with our 14 double crochets. Okay, and next you will make your five half double crochets. And last you will make your five single crochets. So the last thing you'll want to do is just go ahead and slip stitch in that last stitch or that first stitch there and let's finish that off okay so you'll want to go ahead and just weave in the ends of your ears here because we will attach some yarn to the tops of the ears to sew them onto the hat 
in just a minute. So next, um, grab your second color choice for your hat and we will make a bow. If you don't want a bow for yours, you can just skip that part and go straight to the um, part in the video where I show you how to sew the ears onto the hat. All right, for the bow, I'm going to make um, mine in a lighter blue so you can see it better because I figured the white might be hard to see in the video. So you're going to want to start with a chain 10. So once you have your chain 10, we're just going to single crochet across that row. So start in that second chain from your hook and you're just going to single crochet across. Okay, so that's what that should look like at this point. And then you're just gonna chain one and then you'll turn it over and you're gonna single crochet across again. Okay, so that is row two. So you're gonna repeat this until you have five full rows. So making sure you chain one at the end of each row before you turn. So I will meet you at the end when you have five rows completed. Okay, now that you have your five rows made, we're gonna go ahead and just cut that yarn. And then we're gonna go ahead and weave in both of those ends. Then I'll show you how to finish off the bow itself. Okay, so now you're just gonna grab your yarn and hold it at the back of your bow in the center. And then you're just gonna wrap it around tightly in the center of it to make your bow shape. And you can wrap it about around as much as, it, as you feel is needed. Once you have it um, where you want it, Go ahead and cut a little bit longer of a length. Okay, and then you'll grab your yarn needle. And you're gonna weave it through the back of your bow to get that good and secure. And I go through a couple times like that and then your bow is finished and ready to sew on but we need to get the ears sewn on first before we put the bow on so I'm gonna show you real quick how to do that so you should have weaved in those ends on the bottom and then you're gonna just want to cut a couple lengths of your blue yarn or whatever uh, your main color was and we will use that to sew on the ears to the hat All right, so you're gonna start with the um, skinny tapered end of the ear. And then I just start 
like four or five stitches down and go ahead and stitch those together like this and then we'll sew it onto the hat once you get to the very tip of the ear you're then going to sew it onto the very top of the hat and I kind of go around the whole base of that ear so go around to the back as well So once you feel like you have that on really good, then you can go ahead and weave in that end. And then you'll want to weave in that other end as well. But go through um, two or three times when you weave this in. Okay, so you'll want to repeat that same process with your second ear and then you can just if you're gonna put a bow the bow on it you're just gonna sew that right in the middle or you can even do it side or even down here um, so go ahead and get those sewn on and then we will move on to part two in the next video where we will be making the diaper cover all right so this is the finished um, hat so if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and the next video will be up in a couple of days with the diaper cover and then the little bunny baby shoes will be um, the third part of this video so you don't miss those you want to hit that bell icon and that will notify you as soon as those are available so i will see you in part two thanks for joining me bye